So today I'll be sharing my closing thoughts on the Blender Improvement series. This series was really fun for me. It was a lot of fun reading all the comments and seeing what kind of experience and ideas and recommendations that you guys had on each topic. I actually had a much bigger list of stuff that I wanted to talk about. Things like Retopo, Curve Brushes, VDM Brushes, and the Coordinate Plane System amongst other things. But I'm very aware that those would be major changes that would take a phenomenal amount of time and effort for a small team like Blender. So for this series I specifically picked out things I thought would yield a large amount of output with a reasonable amount of input. I understand that asking for a built-in retopology feature is a crazy amount of work to ask from a software run by 30 people, and that's why for this series I tried to keep it reasonable and only pick things I thought the dev team could handle with limited resources. Small things like not needing to hold the alt key while changing multiple values, a working intuitive transparency shader, and basic default human bodies. These are small things that I think would go a long way in saving the community time, so I think they would be great starting points for improvement that we could see relatively quickly. I know there are a few remarks casting doubt on Blender making changes, but just remember Blender has changed before through discussions like the ones we're having now. Back in 2.8, me and a bunch of others pushed for things like deselecting by clicking empty space, editing multiple objects at the same time, drag select on command, and of course left click default were all things we asked for and eventually got. So I think we should have some faith and hope. It might take a few years, but I think over time we'll see more changes like this in the future. Some of you guys really encouraged me to submit official proposals to the Blender devs. I thought that was a great idea, so originally I tried to open three threads, but you're only allowed to open one, so I made a thread to include base bodies in the default Blender. If that's something you'd like to see, then definitely show support and give it some upvotes in the link below. Of course, there's no guarantee, but you never know. It's always worth a shot. Also, most importantly, if you'd like to see changes or improvements, the best way to help put Blender forward is joining the Blender Fund. I know we're all tight on funds right now, but I do believe what Blender stands for in the world. All the extra funds will provide more resources for Blender Blender and in the end will help our whole community. So definitely consider that if you really want to see Blender push forward. Okay, so that's a wrap for the series. If you join me next series, we will be covering facial motion capture. Courtesy of the support squad, I told them if we break a thousand, I'll cover facial mocap, and they, uh, they couldn't wait. So that is the next stop for this channel. I will be preparing for the facial mocap series over the next two weeks, and the next video will be a little promo demonstration of what we're gonna cover. The promo video is gonna be really fun and just something that everyone can enjoy, so I hope you guys look forward to it and have fun when it comes out. But until then, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.